Alrighty guys, so I just wanted to give everybody a short little update. I actually had not intended on making a visit to this one, but then I realized it was uh, much closer than I realized. Um, I am at Oxbow Brewing Company in Newcastle, Maine, in a treehouse, of all things. Just going to show that some of these fun things are all part of the journey. I am tasting Bowie. It is a smoked Saison, assuming named after David Bowie. So, as you can see, or is kind of hazy yellow. Nice little ring of white foam. And you get some of that kind of smoky grit when you smell it. It's not overwhelming. It's kind of light. Very refreshing. And the smokiness works to just the right degree. Almost kind of accentuates this sort of white grape note that's going on there. I've actually I often toy with the idea of doing a smoke says on myself. So I'm a I was excited to try this and you know one of the things that I remember about the last smoked beer I had was um, a beer from Schlinkerla and I know it's very highly thought of personally I thought it tasted like bacon and um, <laughs> obviously that's the last thing I would want it to uh, want it to taste like so it's nice to know that that you can have that result I will try to turn the camera around here just a little bit so y'all can see kind of where we are it's this it's this kind of beautiful nice little hidden away spot it's on, and I'll turn it around so you can see it now. A lovely little kind of reeded pond. My folks are moving out of the way there, pretending like they're not here, which is nice. I do appreciate that. Um, but anyway, this uh, this is a very delicious beer. And it's a nice spicy notes, kind of accentuates the smoke, and uh, altogether very pleasant. Next, I'll talk real quick here about. If you'll hand me that, please. Momoko, which I believe is a wild ale slash farmhouse ale with peaches in it. Got that immediate kind of funky, funky vinegar kind of smell. And we're only doing four ounce pours of this, so I would have done a bigger one. Got a really good, rich peach nose to it. And um, just very, very pleasant. Um, very, very hazy, as you can see. Um, no real head, but you know, in a four ounce glass, not a whole lot you can do with that. So immediately, you get a rush of tartness, a lot of funk, a lot of fruit, a lot of peach. Um, honestly, there's not really a whole lot to say about this one other than it's delicious. It tastes exactly like you would think it would taste. And um, it's very, very, very yummy, very, very tasty beer. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tap out for now and try to enjoy myself um, off camera for the rest of this but I just I'm gonna keep you guys posted in all the different places I go um, up here in Maine and of course the, uh, the big, big hill, hill farmstead trip will be in a couple days that'll be a really exciting one to talk about and we'll do something much more formal with that one um, probably later in the week I'll, I'll make a brief stop by Allagash I don't know if I'm gonna do a video there because it's it's not a real formal tap room um, but I will do one at Maine Beer um, which is on the way between uh, between Portland and Booth Bay, which is kind of closer to where we are. But anyway, guys, until next time, if you're drinking, keep drinking. If you're brewing, keep brewing. Cheers, post, à votre sang, and have a good day.